President Museveni of Uganda have stated that the development of Africa depends on political and economic integration. Without integration, Africa can never develop. So all African countries should come together as one country politically and economically for development. Let's hear him. We, the Pan-Africanists, we are telling you that you people, you don't only need to unite Ugandans, you must, if you can, unite East Africans also. So therefore, this is reason number one of why Pan-Africanism is not just a sentimental, a sentimental feeling. It is a rational and unavoidable need. Either you do it or you, or you become traitors of your people. If you see leaders who, who say they don't care about integration, they are definitely traitors of their own people, whether they know it or they don't know it. And these areas will never develop. Do you need examples? Yes. We've got very good laboratories. There is what they call North America, which has got three countries, Canada, United States, and Mexico. The whole continent has got only three countries. Then neighboring, there is South America, which has got a large number of countries. The countries of South America are very rich in terms of natural resources. They have got a lot of resources. The Amazon River, the biggest river in the world, is in South America. The forest, the, the minerals, they are all in South America. But South America and the Caribbean are centers of misery now. And you see them, you see them walking on foot from, I don't know where, El Salvador, the other one, Uruguay, what's the other one? El Salvador, there's another one called Honduras, walking to go to, to the USA. These were all former colonies. They, they were British colonies in the United States, what is the United States now, and there were Spanish colonies in Latin America. But in 1776, when the British colonies got independence, they united. The 13 of them formed a federation. And then gradually they built on it. And because of that, they built the most powerful country in the history of man, up to now. It's one of the most powerful countries in the world. Why? Just because of uniting the market. Neighboring Latin America, a lot of wealth, but no integration. You can't succeed. If you are a businessman in, in El Salvador, how do you succeed? The market is two million people, then you, you produce, the, you can't sell to, to, to Honduras, you can't sell to the other one, you can't. People give up and run away, business people run away, go to, to, to invest uh, abroad. When I was in primary three, 1955, at a place called Chamate, we were being taught that Argentina is one of the richest countries in the world because it had a lot of beef and wheat, and it is the one which was feeding the whole world. Now, if you look for Argentina now, it is one of the most of the poorest countries in the world. 
What happened? The richness of, of Argentina and uh, was based on selling beef and and wheat to the to, to Europe. Now, when the Europeans formed the European Union, they shut out the beef of Argentina. They shut out the beef of, of the, the wheat of Argentina, and it became one of the poorest countries. So, therefore, market, market, market is a very important stimulus for prosperity. So that's why we support this integration. Whether you like me or you don't like me, you need me. That's the reason number one. Now, somebody here could say that, oh, if that is the case, then we have economic integration only. We don't have to have political integration. We can have economic, but not political integration. Well, if it is impossible for you to have political integration, then you accept it as a, as a fact, and you 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 you, you live within those uh, uh, confinements. However, there are autonomous reasons for political integration. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click all, then like our videos and share.